from the station working for you. This is a WRTV update. And I'm Lauren Casey. These are your latest headlines. State health officials today held their first statewide COVID-19 update in almost two months. For the first time since the beginning of the pandemic, media were able to attend in person rather than virtually. These updates took place on a daily and then on a weekly basis throughout the pandemic, but they came to an end as cases and hospitalizations began trending down. Lately, however, the highly contagious Delta variant has started raising some alarm bells and the daily averages are creeping up once again. But does this mean the state is ready to get back to bringing those restrictions on if the surge continues? If we start to see significant increases in cases and we will see a surge of the Delta variant, I will be like other countries and other states that have seen this. Um, people will need to be very careful if they're unvaccinated and continue to wear their masks on a regular basis to protect themselves and their family. I think that we are not in planning any further restrictions at the state level, but individual communities and consultation schools in consultation with their local public health may decide to make different decisions based on the level of infection at that time. Time. Health officials say the majority of the current cases are among people who are not vaccinated. Let's get a check of our Friday forecast right now with meteorologist Todd Clausen. Hey Todd. It's a bit of a cooler day in progress for us here, Lauren, across the area with high temperatures that'll be in the 70s in most locations. A little more sunshine to the south, maybe 80 degrees in Bloomington, 81 in Columbus, but the humidity is low today as well, so it's very comfortable. If you have plans this evening, well, you may want a light jacket as we cool off into the 60s. There could be a stray sprinkle or two this evening, uh, but nothing major. Better rain chances in the forecast tomorrow, especially the morning hours, and then they become more spotty throughout the afternoon. Tomorrow's another cool day with high temperatures only in the 70s. Once we get to Sunday, Lauren, we're back up into the 80s. On Sunday, though, we get into more of those heavier downpours. All right, Todd, thank you. For more weather and stories you need to know, just download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.